Well, we started out day three. Um, rained most of the evening and night last night. Then it quit raining and then it got windy, uh, which kind of helped dry out my tent and stuff on the outside. So I got it packed up this morning before it started raining, but started sprinkling as I was packing it up. Now that I'm on the trail, it's kind of drizzling. So I got my uh, umbrella out. Uh, definitely Georgia is not uh, the sunny state, uh, but we're okay, we're still going. But that's what we got going this morning. So it's, hey, how y'all doing? I'm doing a little wet this morning. But other than that, we're going. Well, looks like we're getting close to the top, but it's all fogged in. There won't be much of a view up there when we get there. It's all uphill. First thing this morning, trail turns goes that way down but we're going up so more to go well I think this is quite the view right here uh, we got a little rock out cropping that comes out and I think on a clear day it would be a pretty good view but as you can see today it's a little foggy <laughs> well, right now we seem to be just staying on top of this ridge, following the ridge, so passed pretty easy. Still pretty wet, foggy. Uh, probably would have nice views off to the sides here. Uh, like I say, you can tell we're up on a, just walking top of a ridge. But... That's good. We can use a break now and then. Uh, pretty open. You can tell it's uh, winter time. Not much green up here. But it's not raining at the moment. It's good and damp, but we'll survive it. I'm going a little up here. The well, still going down. Now we're going down the mountain. But it's still foggy. Hog fogged in. It's quiet though, still. At least on this side, in the mountain there's no breeze. Uh, well, we've been going down for a little ways, so... I'm hoping there's a water source at the bottom of the hill, because I'm getting low on water, so... But I'm sure there is. There'll be water up here somewhere. This is what it looks like as we go down. It's starting to get a little steeper. Every so often on these downhills, they'll kind of like clean off a spot. So the water, when it rains, running down the path will turn off, go away from the path and not erode the path so bad. All right, I'm going to put you away. It's getting a little cumbersome and... It's slick from the rain. It's a little steep, so I don't want to go sliding down here on my butt. So, well, we're still going down the trail. Still foggy. We're kind of walking along the side here. Uh, show you. Not much to see other than trees, a little ways, and then fog. Luckily, it's not been raining. So. I don't think we're drying off much, but we're not getting any wetter, so I guess that would be the bright side. 
I got a little set of stairs here, it looks like. Now, yeah, Mother, it is definitely wearing me out. Uh, it's just after 12. I was going to stop at the next water source when I left the campsite this morning, which was Hawk Shelter. And you know, I don't think I found a water source yet, and it's after 12. I guess I was going to stop and make a thing of oatmeal, drink some extra water, filter some water, and uh, have enough to go on. But since I haven't hit a water source, and I didn't want to fill up my bottles before I left the campsite, because I thought I would hit a water source and then fill up so i got down to one swallow left and uh, i come across this one very nice lovely young lady that said she had extra so she gave me some of her water so god bless her for that and so we're we've got a little dab of water and we're still going on but we have not hit that water source yet but I think uh, we will, and when I do, I'm going to stop and do the oatmeal like I originally planned. There's what we just came down, kind of sketchy for sure. A little bit of steps here, muddy, slick, I guess being that it's the weekend, there's all kinds of day hikers and section hikers out here. I don't know how many people I've you know, met going the other way. Uh, so far, nobody per se has passed me up since early this morning. There's three or four that passed me up. We kind of leapfrogged them a little bit. But I think I still go slower than the general population so but that's fine I'm not out here to set any world records or anything like that and I did see one gray squirrel this morning that was the first critter of any kind I've seen and this would be my third day now so there's some Neat looking rocks up there. See if I can get you a shot of that. Big old rock sticking out of the side of the mountain. That's kind of the slope. So I'm going to put you away. Fog's kind of lifted a little bit down below anyway. We got people coming. We got the, this green stuff. I don't know what it is. Growing along the side. Oh, we got some pine trees growing. Pretty thick down there. Well, here we go. Still going. Fog's lifted just a little bit. Still no rain yet, so we're doing okay with that. Still no water source yet, I don't know. I could look on far out and see just how far, but I'm not too worried, we'll get there. We've kind of been just walking along the side of the hill, side of the mountain, just not really no big up or no big down. Just these little rises here and there. But It's not been too bad. Still meeting a lot of people going the other way for the weekend hike, I guess. I'm definitely hearing water rushing, so. We must be going to come up on a creek here for a long. I hope. Alright. We'll just 
keep falling along. There's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, there's definitely a creek down there. But I don't know if the trail goes down there, but I would assume at some point. But yeah, we're walking along the creek now. We're just high up from it. I'm gonna put you away. Well, I stopped here by this little stream. Ate some uh, maple raisin oatmeal. And Got me some water, so won't be long and we'll move on up the trail. Pretty much uh, guaranteed it's going to be up from here because we're down low. So we're still moving. This little section is really kind of closed in. I don't know what kind of vegetation this is, but... Uh, it's really got us in the green tunnel. We're headed to Gooch Gap. That's where the next place we're headed, Gooch Gap Shelter. Uh, I was hoping to make Woody Gap, which is like four miles past, but I don't know that I can do that. The, ups around here are pretty good ups or they last quite a while so they're wearing me out but that's enough of me complaining but yeah pretty green right through here rain's kind of held off it's just been foggy and even that's lifted a little bit it's not quite as foggy and misty as it was but that probably means that uh Another hour or two, it'll be raining. And we're still going along. Steps here. Still got our white blazes. Trail is definitely muddy. And right down the side. That's what it looks like at the moment. Well, I don't know what's done that to this tree, but that's pretty wild. It, uh, that is stripped it. I mean, see all the pieces down below. I don't know if that's woodpeckers, or bears. I don't know what did that. That's pretty strange. Sorry about the wiggling around. I don't know. Well, looks like I got a little dirty walking in all the mud today after the rain last night. But not too awful bad. Nothing that won't come off. Well, I'm in the tent again, and as you can hear, it's raining again. So, I guess I'm going to call it a night for the third night. This is Saturday, and uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't think I got a signal on the phone so maybe I'll try that stupid satellite thing again to see if I can send a text message through it but didn't have much luck last night with it so I did get a call mother earlier today this afternoon so 
I told her I might not have a signal tonight, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, this seems to be a rainy night in Georgia again. That's what we had last night, so. All right, we'll call it a day. I uh, want to say, too, that hope God the Father will bless us both. And through His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the love of the Holy Spirit, May you lead us both to eternal life. Talk to you later. Bye.